welcome back to Hilltop Stove Top, the show where we teach you how to make great meals in an ordinary kitchen. Today we have, um, I'll call it maybe a road trip even, uh, we are doing something a little different and that we're stepping outside of our kitchen and we're going to be barbecuing bacon wrapped chicken. And this isn't just uh, stuff that I've picked up already pre-seasoned at the uh, at the supermarket. Uh, this was I started off with some plain chicken, and I've got uh, I've been marinating it, and I've got bacon, and I'm going to show you what I do to put it on the on the barbecue. Uh, friends love this one; they call it my chicken baseballs, and uh, it looks pretty fancy. Everybody gets an individual portion. And you can put whatever kind of side dishes you want with it. Um, it's not too difficult to make and it doesn't take that long to cook, uh, but uh, it does make for a nice uh, special evening kind of meal. So what I'm starting off with is some uh, plain uh, boneless skinless chicken breasts and which interests Coco a great deal and we'll have to get a little shot of her pretty soon here. Uh, so these boneless, skinless chicken breasts, uh, the, the type that my butcher gets in, they're quite big. So I've actually cut each one of these in half. So I've got a piece of chicken and I have washed my hands here, but I've got a piece of chicken that's about this big. Um, one of the easiest ways I find to do this is to just take this bowl, uh, put a you know quarter of a cup of Dijon mustard on it and a little bit of garlic, mix it all up and leave it to sit for at least half an hour or so. Today I went to my refrigerator and lo and behold, I didn't have any Dijon mustard. And um, so this is what I've been trying to tell people in these, uh, this show is that don't be afraid to step outside the box. You don't have to follow the recipe exactly. And I said, oh, I've got this perfect thing and it is maple chicken rub. Now this is made uh, by my friends um, Ray and Carol Ann Bonnenberg at Mapleside Sugarbush, which is just a few minutes down the road from here. And I am gonna put a link into their website in the description. Uh, this particular uh, rub has maple sugar, onion powder, parsley, oregano, thyme, basil, mustard seed, chicken bouillon powder, and cracked pepper, um, all in one mixture. So I've just sprinkled Oh, two or three tablespoons of that onto, uh, I've got four chicken breasts, so eight pieces all together, and uh, left it to sit for a little while. And uh, now we're going to learn about wrapping it up in the bacon. So now what I'm going to do for each piece of chicken, it's basically two pieces of bacon. I take a piece of chicken, lay it in the middle there, just fold it over like that. And then I take the second piece of bacon, and this one I've got to start with the, the fattier end and just roll it all up. And then just to be sure, I take a skewer. Now these are fairly long skewers. They just happen to be the kind that I have um, and put it through. So that holds it in place. And once this is finished cooking, we can take the skewers out because the bacon will be crispy and will hold in place. Um, but that's all there is to it. As far as the wrapping, it's not complicated. Now, sometimes you'll get one that has kind of odd bits off the edge. So all you do is just tuck the bits of chicken in before you wrap, wrap it up in the bacon. Make sure we've got all the little corners tucked in. So we do end up with kind of a baseball shaped bit of chicken. So now we're ready to head out to the barbecue. And I realize this is only half of them, but that's all we need to do for this part of the, uh, the show. So here we are at a beautiful fall day at uh, Hilltop Cottage, home of Hilltop Stovetop. And uh, we're just about to get the barbecue fired up, but I did want you to, to have a, an idea of what the backdrop is here off of my back deck. Okay, so here we are. It's a beautiful fall evening. Uh, the lights are a little dimmer, so I hope you will be able to uh, to get a good view of this with the camera angles. I've got the barbecue fired up. Um, it's only at about 200 degrees. It'll be warming up quite quickly. My barbecue is uh, ultra hot. I'll have to make sure that I turn it down before too long. Uh, I've got a couple of things here, though. 
got our chicken ready to go. I've got my tongs. And I have this thing here, which is uh, another one of those Pampered Chef products that is a, a silicone uh, sheet that you can barbecue on so that stuff isn't dripping through onto your barbecue. But this one comes with a holder so that when all this, uh, when I'm finished cooking, I can just pick that up and uh, lift it off the barbecue. So I am going to start things rolling here. Get that warmed up and um, put my chicken on there. Now this is going to take, I think it's about 15 minutes or so for them to cook. Um, and right now you'll see when I put it in there, it's quite squishy. And that's one of the ways that we're going to tell if this chicken is done all the way through. Because um, it's much like when you're cooking a steak where you do that, uh, that little bit when I'll try to, where, where you, you hold your, your thumb and your fingers together and it just poke there and that's quite hot, hard. And then as you move further along, it's softer. So if you wanted a rare steak, you'd be soft like that. But if you want a well done uh, steak, it's harder like that. So the same thing is going to happen with this chicken is that we'll feel that it's very firm when it's done all the way through. Um, the other thing that we will notice is that bacon gets nice and crispy. So usually when the bacon is crispy, uh, then, then we're good to go. There you go. So we're just going to close up that lid, um, let it sit for about five minutes before I look too far. The only thing that I am going to be watching is the temperature gauge. And if it starts to get a little too high, I'll turn down the flame um, so that we're not cooking the outside too quickly uh, before the inside has a chance to cook. Okay, so we're about three minutes in. The temperature is firing up and I can hear that bacon crackling away. So I'm just going to open it up and give these things a turn. While I was waiting, I did uh, go in and I changed out the plate for a clean plate so that when all is uh, when all is finally cooked, we're not putting our cooked chicken back onto the plate that had the raw chicken on it. So you can see we're already starting to get a little bit of grill marks. And that's the nice thing about these silicone sheets is even though they're keeping everything from spitting all over the barbecue, at the same time it's also um, um, allowing those grill marks to come through. And I think at this point, I'm going to turn down my temperature just a bit. And we'll leave it for a few more minutes. And, maybe see and now the um, temperature gauge is about 400. So it's sizzling along nicely. And I do keep these moving a fair bit just to keep the round shape, but also to avoid any, uh, any burning that might be might potentially happen. And it gets kind of tricky sometimes when your skewers are a little long like these are to, to get it to properly balance. And we're uh, about six or seven minutes into this now. And when we open it up, of course, we get some sizzling goodness happening. And the closer the, uh, the pieces are to the back, it's a little warmer in the back than in the front. So I'm going to swap out their directions. And we, but we've still got lots of squishiness to this. So we know we're not anywhere close to being done. We are going to have to give it at least another six or seven minutes, maybe a little more.
So we're just over uh, 10 minutes into our cooking time. We'll take another peek here. Ooh. And uh, it's starting to firm up a little bit, but it's still a little on the squishy side. So we're, we're not gonna rush these at all. I'll keep, keep on turning. And I have turned the temperature down a little bit on the grill, but on my temperature gauge, it's still showing about 500. Um, I find the temperature gauge on my barbecue is a little different than, or a lot different than the temperature gauge on my oven, but uh, it's all relative, so we'll just keep an eye on that closely. Again, still, still kind of squishy. This smaller one is get you can tell it's firmer than the bigger ones, and um, but still not done because it's still not firm. Now it is getting a little bit dark out here, so I'm not sure if you'll still be able to see these when I open this up. Um, and uh, yeah, we're getting definitely, definitely better. And just the same as we did with the turkey, we can put the, um, like th those are, this one is a, still not quite done in my mind, um, but you can also put the, the meat thermometer in and just check it out. And what does she say here? It's close, but almost. Just a couple more minutes. Um, hopefully, the, we will be able to get this through on the camera. If not, um, we will get some good shots once we get back inside. about 18 minutes in on these uh, these little chicken balls here I think we'll give it one last turn and they should be good at that point yeah that's feeling nice and firm now remember when we started off and you it was just gushy practically so I think it should be good to go here now and then the other thing that we're gonna do is just like any other meat that we've been cooking, once we bring these in, we're gonna let them rest a little bit. And don't forget to turn off your barbecue. And I'll let that cool before I try to handle anything, but I'll meet you back in the kitchen. All right, so here we are back in the kitchen where we've got a little bit of light and we have let these rest for about five minutes. So now we can take the, um, the skewer out. And as you can see, because our bacon is nice and crispy, it's holding that 
that shape and uh, and the, the bacon is staying wrapped around just the way that we wanted it to and uh, so everybody would get one of these on their plate along with whatever side dishes you choose to make with it and uh, but when they cut into it there we go we've got beautiful juicy chicken with that wonderful maple kind of rub on it and uh, bacon in every bite so hopefully all your guests will be suitably impressed so there we go our bacon wrapped chicken with uh, maple rub and uh, hopefully you enjoyed today's episode and that you'll be uh, joining us again soon don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss uh, any episodes and we look forward to uh, hearing from you the next time and also we look forward to your comments and any suggestions uh, for treats that you would like to see demonstrated bye bye for now